we are going to talk about now is uh, how to transfer the data from one workstation to the other. So what happens if you want to um, send your project to somebody else? And that question becomes even more interesting if you think about the fact that designers usually work in different software products. So how do we get one project to another computer maybe running a different BIM software? Ah, okay, uh, let's see first how we can extract this data from our project. Uh, for that, I'm loading the previous state, uh, status where we had uh, started, and that's the, you know, our project. So here, um, you can actually have uh, several phases of your project. You can filter it the way you would like to export, and then you can go to File, Export, and there you will find IFC. Now here, uh, there is an, you can just save it, uh, set up an, uh, a file name for that, and then um, you can select what you would like to export and how you would like to uh, export that. I think I will just quickly create an, an, a name. That was project. the, actually, the, the, na the, the name na is, is uh, the name of the person <coughs> who gave this project to us, yeah, which, which we are very, very, very thankful for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I'm exporting his project now uh, into an IFC file and then comes up with the, with the, uh, with the um, details. Now I won't actually export it because sometimes it, it can take uh, a little longer, if the project, especially if the project is uh, larger. But here you can see uh, what sort of uh, options you can set up uh, when you export, you can you can filter actually what you would like to export uh, to uh, the IFC file, and if you just hit OK, the software will generate this uh, this IFC <coughs> file also with uh, with the report. Now, of course, there was nothing because I did not create that. And then when you open it in another software, I have actually prepared a file for that. Let me just uh, open it off screen. It's um, here in my library. I just made a screenshot in a trial version of a third-party software to demonstrate how it looks like when you open up something like that in mm -hmm. another uh, software. Uh, sorry, this happened before. Let me just reopen it again. And now there yes, it is. Yes, here we go. So this is, a, this is a project what you have just seen before. So the, the, way, the way it imported, I, I think it's worth talking about what it exactly exports and imports via IFC because you know that if you, for instance, use DWG or DXF drawings, sometimes not everything you know carries over. So, what are the things that IFC IFC has? I see that geometry is, is obviously there and terrain is all, all also there. But what are, what other things do we carry on? Yes, as you can see, if you open it in a, in, a, in another software which handles the model, you know, in a in a certain way. Now, in this case, this is also an architectural software. Uh, then you will have the 2D, you will have the 3D with all the data modifiable. You can change the walls as walls, which we will demonstrate the other way around soon. Uh, so um, you will you will be able to not only uh, see and 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 um, kind of process a frozen model, but you will also have all the rest of the information. Like here at the left hand side, you can see that there are the floors, mm -hmm. and also if the software supports the layers. And also, if the support, if the software supports other details, also the geolocation yes. and things that you can create. Sometimes you will end up things in a third-party software that you cannot further edit, and that's that's normal. We will we will also yes, show this we'll, we'll the other show way an around. Example for that. Um, one thing to talk about the IFC <laughs> here is that this is uh, the file format that that tries to sort of standardize how projects are being handed from one computer, one software to the other. Yeah. You have to keep in mind that even though this this brings collaboration, which has never before seen uh, opportunities, but you have to you have to keep an eye on the fact that sometimes there might be a transformation of information from one station to the next. Yeah, it's like dialects of languages, yes, yeah. Yes, because you know IFC is hailed <laughs> as being the common language, just like English is for us. But you know, even with languages, we have we have uh, dialects and accents. We even have different we, accents. Even and, we, we speak a different yes, dialect. Yes, we, we yeah. speak different dialects. So that's. For that reason, it might happen that the information changes in a way, but we will see that in a second. Is there any other software we could we could illustrate how the Arstein uh, IFC imports? Yes, and before we before we do that, uh, just to give you an exact example, so what happens if something is cannot that cannot be modified in a third party software? It's like let's imagine Arstein has the the tool to create you know the furnishing. There is a, a certain tool for the cabinet uh, design. Yes. So you can create that, you can export that uh, to a third-party software, but if the software 
software does not support this likely will not uh, then you will see the model you will have all this data just you won't have the tools because those tools are in Arch line not yes, in the yes. other software. but you can still see that and they are still going to be part of your calculation and and it's not going to be lost <coughs> you just won't be able to keep on modifying them yes but with the but the point is that with, the, with this basic building elements such as walls slabs columns they should be editable from one program to the other right yes 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 um, so if the, if the software supports editing, then yes, you can edit. But if you use a viewer, like we use the Solibri, it's just a free viewer, uh, you, can, you can find it and you can download if you don't have um, on that specific yes. computer any other um, resource, then you can just download it and you can check the models that you receive or you, or you give to someone else, how they will, look, they will see uh, your model. And this is uh, actually the model that we have created. Yes. With all the data, if you click on a wall, you will find the, da the data over there with the with the information. What was the software creating that? What was the project? Uh, where the building is? The quantities for that specific items? Also for walls, railing, uh, terrain, columns, windows. So all this information you can uh, quick check uh, using uh, a view also a viewer like this here, which is a very fast, uh, easy to use. Viewer. So what's the? How does the other way around look like so what happens if you are because you know that uh, Arshline has a certified IFC export and import which means that if you work together with another architect who has documentation prepared in another software just like the ones we have seen before um, how can you import that uh, that data into Arshline? Um, let me sh let me demonstrate that again with a an, with an new and empty um, project uh, here uh, I have actually a few files here um, as IFC files, I will simply load this uh, model, and when we do, when you do that, you have three at least three options. Uh, the first option is when you you are not the not the one starting to work with the project, but you are some you're you're just uh, keep working on someone else's work. Then this is how you will work. You, the software will create a new project based on that IFC file, and then you can process it. This, this is actually what I will demonstrate now. And then there's the other option when you have an existing project and for that project you would like to use someone else's data in an IFC file, then you will select this option. So you will keep your project and this content will be merged into a new drawing, a new window where from you can actually copy paste data from either from here or there. Uh, you can just uh, merge these two models uh, together. Yes. And also there's this uh, third option which comes handy when you find IFC models of furniture or, or objects uh, that you would like to paste into your model, then you should go with the IFC so element. in this scenario, which one should we pick? Now we will pick the first one and then, uh, yeah, you know, it's just closing this empty project I, uh, and then now it starts processing. Before, before we see <coughs> the project itself, my question is that IFC now seems to be like the ultimate tool for data exchange. What are the things that IFC is not really good for? I, I know yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not positive to talk about the, the negative side of, of this wonderful collaboration tool, but we have to be realistic in, in this. What are the, the things that IFC is not really practical to use for? Yeah, well actually uh, there are things that our IFC is not made for, like for example, if you would like to create, uh, if you create a 2D drawing and you mm -hmm. do not have any 3D data, or you only have lines and things like that, you just draft something, you will not be able to communicate that via IFC because so IFC is not a 2D file, mm -hmm. not, not a documentation uh, format. It's a building information format. So if there is no building information, of course, you cannot uh, uh, give it or, or pass it through to, to someone else. And that's why uh, if you load a model like this, uh, it's it opens up brilliantly. You have all the details, all the 2D, all the 3D, but even if they were, they was original, these information were originally annotated or measured or something, these will not appear because these are not coming through using the, 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 um, the IFC format. The measures, the size and, and everything else is in, is, in, is in the proper format. Everything is, 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 is like it should be. So you can add your own, you can use your own documentation tools in your own software where you process the IFC, but they won't be stored within the IFC yeah. file. So for, these are things that you will not find in the in the IFC file. What you will find is the information, the building itself, which is the most important. And then each and every party who wants to document it some way, they will document it in a certain way as they should or they want.
Now let's look at look at that uh, issue what we just talked about. What are the things that we add, can edit and how we can edit them? So can we look at this model actually and, and look at how we can adjust certain things about it? Um, I, I think we already mentioned, but it's, it's worth uh, mentioning again that this is uh, this has been made with a, with another software solution. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we are using a, a, a free sample uh, project of a, of a third party software, which was exported into an IFC file, and then now we just opened it. So what you will see here, it's not only the, the, the software has set the geolocation automatically and everything else and, and we have a nice model, but what we also have here is the, is, the, is the level structure of that certain building and also we have the items as they are originally created in the other software, like this was created as a wall, so we, we have a wall here which, which I can add it I, either by just changing its height to I don't know, four meters or graphically change its height. So it behaves just like a native arch yeah. arch line wall because so now it, I'm free it actually to, is. Free to, free to change it and I'm free to uh, even, even further extend it by simply, uh, for example, adding a window here. I'm just literally pasting a window. I, I know it's not making any sense to yes, paste a window it's, here. Yes, but it's good for the sake of illustration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can see that it's, it's, it's there and it, and, it, uh, and it works. It behaves as, 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 a, as a native arch line item. Um, again, about uh, some things that you can find in a project and why you can find them in that, that specific way. Sometimes you will end up, end up walls like this and sometimes you will end up with walls like this which has a very specific thing here. If I would like to add a window here, uh, let's just try to paste it here. See, there's something uh, appeared. So I see the seal but something appeared but 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 what's that if i select it there is the there's the window but why there is no hole in the wall mm -hmm. and that's happening because this wall is actually uh it's a wall as we can see here with all the beam data and everything we can change these values but because of the dif differences of uh software architecture like we have our certain software architecture uh, that other software has their own software architecture. Um, uh, uh, another type of software for piping and, and everything else, they have a third software architecture. There are things that sometimes you cannot completely and perfectly communicate if you want to keep the visual shape and also the, the, the data. Yes. So in case Archline realizes that there is an item like that, it will all decide to keep its uh, shape and also the data. So you will end up with the best possible. But sometimes you, you will see something like this. And this is normal because as you can see at the left hand side, this is telling me that the 3D mm -hmm. is fixed. And th the reason behind that For is what this I just explained. Wall, right? For this particular wall, because, because Archline realized that if we would like to keep the original shape and we also would like to keep the same data I must fix the shape for the designer. So then, then the designer can decide either to release this fix because they would like to edit it or it's just simply part of their project. They don't work, work with it. They don't want to change it. It's just simply there. So, so, so they, can, they can use it to, to intersect. They can create elevations out of it. So it, it behaves otherwise uh, quite uh, like the other items. So if you would like to release this, uh, this lock on this item, all you need to do is just to select the item and go to um, the sorry, it was in view, uh, no, sorry, edit, uh, modify, and there is the lock, and you can unlock the 3D. And then, then you will realize a jump here, because yes. uh, if Archline uh, wants to uh, handle it as a parametric item, then it, it needs to change the shape. But from this point on, I can do whatever I want. So I can just go there, select it, and tell that it should have the same height like the other wall, mm -hmm. and so on and so on. So you can on. just align them. Nice, that, that makes it very easy to, to work <coughs> with projects that have been made by others.